materials. Okay, so this will take another one week. Okay, so if you look at our schedule, this is our week nine, right? This is our week nine. Next will be our week 10 and then week 11. So probably I need an extra week, okay, to make you guys more uh, so-called clarify matters, okay? So you will see that 12 weeks, for the next four weeks, this is what I'm going to focus. And if I'm successful clearing this with you guys, then I will trust any of you to design a structure and, and, and select the right material and also optimize on the what? Geometry. So in this context, if you go to the next class, which is uh, 3E05, you will be applying this protocol. Yeah, you'll be applying this protocol, okay? Uh, can you still hear me? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. because my computer say I'm crashed, which I'm not. <laughs> right, so let's look at an example, okay? So let's look at an example, okay? So today we are going to, I'll tell you what, what, what we're trying to do today. Now I have very bad internet today. I keep on jumping out from my uh, meetings today. If I happen to be not there, okay? Uh, somehow uh, I'll, I'll, I'll write down my number over here, okay? Call me on my cell phone, okay? If you don't see me there, call me. Okay, so I'll keep my phone on because my, as I said, I've been always been okay. Now, example number one, and this is a standard protocol. Protocol means methodology that we are going to we are, we are going to uh, use, right? This is a standard methodology that we'll be using to how to identify. Uh, what is a talk and what is a moment? And if you always apply uh, what I how I teach you on this topic, you will not get it wrong. Okay, okay. So it's it's a method that is really really useful. Okay, and hopefully easy to uh, easy to understand also. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay, as long as you can see you. Okay, here we go. So I have paste some or I have post some of this diagram. Okay, so this is the first one we could do. And stop me if you have any question. Okay, please stop me. Okay. Right. So this is a structure. So the first thing I want you to identify is this. Okay. What what we what we are trying to solve? Okay, what we are trying to what what are we trying to get out of this? Okay, so we are so before we go into stress, okay, we are we are we are try to find the moments okay, not not the identify. Uh, the moments yeah, the moments uh, shear force and talk acting on elements h and k okay on element h and k okay so what is the procedure like okay so there are three steps okay as i said uh i've i've applied this uh three steps in most of the analysis it always work until someone asks me a weird question that i've not thought before like last friday then i like, uh i need to think okay <laughs> i like that i in fact I had my best lecturing time with you guys on Friday last week. Okay? I was so high that I only can come down on Sunday. Okay, so we are going to locate first first step. Okay, we are going to locate uh, the orientation and okay? the orientation of the transformation.
okay, of the transformation uh, and position of the elements. Okay, and position of the elements. So what do I mean by that? Okay, so the first thing when I say transformation, usually it's given. Okay, so these are the transformation. Okay, so these are the transformation. So what I usually do as an engineer, whether am I doing teaching, research, and con or consulting, I always define my my uh, my uh, transformation. Okay, so I know you guys say Eugene's ratio is it redundancy? Still draw it down. Okay, so this is my y x, y and z. So whatever I draw, okay, whatever that I'm going to draw is with reference to this transformation. Okay, it's with reference to this transformation. And then the second thing that once you have done this, okay, and then you look, you identify your elements, okay. So element H and element K, right? Then number the second step is we are going to identify the position, okay, the uh, the new axis. Okay, and I find the new tracks is relative to element H and K. Okay, so over here, the new tracks is, okay, the new tracks is, is going to run parallel. Okay, it's going to run parallel to the y axis. So the axis I've drawn, right? This is known as our neutral axis. Okay, that's how. Now, uh, some of you say, why are we doing this? Okay, L let, me, let me tell you the steps first. Then after that, when we are done, okay, when we apply, right? Then you understand why we are doing this, okay? Okay, so bear with me, okay? So number three is uh, we do not analyze, okay? We do not analyze okay, We do not analyze the forces that are uh, dots, okay, or crosses, okay, okay, so don't, don't worry, we, we, we will come to that, you must say, what is this all about, okay, don't worry, we'll come to that, okay, so now, what make 3D analysis, uh, dif not difficult, uh, confusing, right, what makes 3D confusing is, is because of this, the paper is a 2D domain, okay? And the object in real life is what? It's 3D, okay? Again, I repeat again, the analysis that we are going to do on paper is 2D, but in real life, the structure is in 3D. So it can be pretty confusing. So I've, I've come up, I've devised a technique, okay? That I like to impart to you that is not so confusing, okay? So I'm going to show you now, but again, you all have to remember these three procedures. Okay, one, okay, the uh, orientation of transformation and position of the elements. So these are the position of the elements. Okay, identify the new axis relative to the element. Okay, so we identify new axis and do not analyze the forces that are uh, dot and cross. Now, question for you guys: What are all these elements? Anyone? Hello, are you there? I think it's parallel to the axis, like yeah, K would but, be but, parallel but, to Y. Yeah, but in real life, what are all these elements in real life? Let's say now I have a shaft, okay? So my, my prof say, Eugene say, element H and element K, these are elements. But what are they physically? Like a piece of the pipe or the shaft? But the piece of pipe of the shaft is the object, okay? But how do you 
has element H and K. A strain gauge. Where are you? Uh, what's me, Eugene. Yeah, what's your name? Sebastian. Okay, you're right. Our strain gauges. So if I were to draw element uh, H, okay, so I'm going to draw element H now. So if I base on my orientation, yeah, X, and this is uh, Z, right? And that will be our uh, rotation in the Y, right? So this is element H. Okay, this is element H. Okay, this is our element H. So this element basically in real life is you position string gauges. You position string gauge in this direction, string gauge in this direction, and string gauge in this direction. So these are all your string gauges. Okay, so all these are your string gauge. So what the strain gauge does is when there's a change in resistance, there'll be a change in voltage, and the change in voltage will be related to the change in uh, in in deflection. Okay. So you you can see if this is my trans transformation over here, this is measuring strain in the z direction. Okay. This will be measuring strain in the x direction. This is measuring the gamma, the, the shear strain in the x, z direction. Okay, right. Okay, so once now you know, okay, what does an element actually, actually means? Okay, it's positions of strain gauges. Okay, I don't want you all to just learn, oh, Eugene always say element, but what is an element in real life? I don't know. I don't want that to be an answer. I want you all to know. Okay, so now. So again, this is our so we are going to view this in the 2D world now. Okay, we are going to view this in the 2D world. So the first view I'm going to do is I'm going to view this in this this domain now. Okay, I'm going to let me change my uh, view. Okay, so I'm going to view in this direction now. So this is my x. This is my y. And this is my rotation about Z. Okay, so I'm going to sketch this out. Okay, so just briefly sketch. So this is uh, this is the ten. So two, four, six, eight, ten. All right, and then we have our fourteen. Two, four, six. 8, 10, 12, 14. Okay. Then this is our built-in. So once you get this view, you have to immediately identify the position of your elements first. Okay, you have to identify. And I'll tell you why we have to identify, identify the position of elements. Okay, so we're going to identify at the position of our elements. So I'm going to use... Uh, Wait, okay, so at a certain distance, right? So this will be our element, right? This will be our element K, right? And then on top, right? This is our element H. And then from here, we are going to draw our, we're going to draw our, uh, our, Neutral axis. Here we're going to go, uh, draw neutral axis. This is just a sketch. Okay, exactly where is it? I don't know. Okay, this is just a sketch. So this is our neutral axis. Okay, then we are going to put the forces, right? The forces into this diagram. Okay, so the 150 pound, two, four. So this is where our 150 pound is. Okay, two, four, six. So the 150 pounds, right? Now we are viewing from this side. Okay, that is my eye, my eyebrow. Okay, and this is my cheekbone, right? The arrow is going away, so it's going to be across. Agree? Okay. 
So this is our 150 pounds. 